One of the state's most prominent tree species is under threat from a small insect that can decimate entire forest. Doug Reardon saw them firsthand and has more on the big threat those tiny bugs pose. If you weren't looking for it, It'll always be lined up right at the base of the needle. You'd probably miss the tiny insects threatening millions and millions of hemlock trees in Michigan. If left unaddressed, this will lead to the tree dying eventually. Drew Rayner with the Michigan DNR spends a lot of time looking for them. This is hemlock lloyd algid. So you can see these little white um, cotton ball looking masses. Um, and that's the ovisac that they produce. So the insect is inside of that ovisac. Hemlock woolly adelgids or HWAs are pinpoint small bugs that can take out a full sized hemlock in four to 10 years. The bugs were found by some Michigan landscapers a few years back. And now Rainer says it's a race to find and get rid of them. So hemlock trees are really important here in Michigan. This would be a big loss to lose our hemlock trees as well as the wildlife value. Animals rely on the hemlocks for habitats, especially where they grow most frequently in dune and cold water stream ecosystems. But the bugs have been found along the lakeshore from Fenville to Ludington, and they've already started doing their work. Further into the forest at Lake Harbor Park, these trees uh, have been infested for a little while. Rainer shows us trees that have been infected for years. They're browning needles and slowly rotting trunks, a sign of what could happen. And it's not just the hemlocks here in Muskegon that are at risk of this. There are 170 million hemlock trees in the state of Michigan. All of them are susceptible to HWAs. But Rainer says there is some good news. We can be really successful if it's caught earlier. The sooner we treat, the better. Um, we can save trees, and, and we're pretty um, effective at, at treating this. A simple insecticide takes care of the problem, but only if DNR knows where to look. Lots of people have hemlocks in their yards, and they can spread through human contact or on boats and trailers. So Rainer wants people to flip their branches and look for those tiny white nuisances. Flip your branches over and just look for signs, and if you think you find it, report it.